Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Life Is Me. I have a small unboxing, or I guess just haul, because I already got rid of the box, because again, recycling was coming, so trash day was coming, so I wanted to get rid of the trash. Well, most of it anyway. So this is my latest order from Goulet Pens, and this is what came with me. It was packaged by Brandon B. And look at this, this cute little sticker. It's a corgi with a fountain pen in his mouth. I could see a corgi or a puppy stealing a pen. My dog stole a pen and it was disastrous. I didn't notice when she took it and there was ink everywhere. It was not good. It wasn't a fountain pen, but still, it was a mess. Man, puppies are hard. So anyway, <laughs> this is a new pen that I got. It's a Banu. And... Let me open it. I've not had a Banu pen before, but I I saw it. It just looked like a different type of pen, so I wanted to try it. Comes in this little sleeve. Look at it. It just looked like a fun, different pen, not like a your ordinary pen. <laughs> it just looks so funky to me. Okay, can you see it? Are you getting a good picture? If you hear some heavy breathing. Sorry about that. My puppy was extra curious and decided to come join in. Anyway, this is the pen. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I think everything is beautiful, apparently. But everything I order, and I think it's beautiful before I get it. So, once I get it, it's even extra beautiful. This is like... I don't know, I think it's purple, a really, really, really deep, dark purple. And I don't know if you can tell. Can you guys see the color? And it's got like glitter on it and look at the shape of it, it's different. Okay, so it's a pen, it came with this little cartridge. Look at how skinny, how tall and skinny this cartridge is. It's different than any other cartridge I've seen. Let's see, what else does it come with? I think it's just instructions. Oh, product information and lifetime warranty. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So, anyway, this is my new Banu. Take that out of there. So, it's not going to accept any, like, regular cartridge converter. It's move this box. I feel like it's hiding, creating a shadow from the sun. This is what the nib looks like. Oh, can you guys see that? It's the nib. And let's see. Last time I created a mess when I inked up my Mueller's Ahab. Not going to do that again. And that was totally my fault. Oh, it comes with a cartridge converter. Oh, that's cool. All right. So it's a, it's a different one too. It's kind of long, longer than the normal ones, I think. And it's, it's a twist converter. All right. We'll use that when we ink it up. You know what? I think the ink purple jazz would look good in this one. I don't know though. So I also bought some ink and I thought to myself, oh, I don't remember ordering two different inks. Well, because I didn't mean to and nor did I. I didn't order two different inks. I ordered two of the same. Apparently I had it all already had it in my cart or I don't know. Somehow I must have hit add to cart twice. So I ordered two of these. Let me get it open.
Okay. So I was watching the Goulet Pens pen cast, and they were talking about Bay State Blue. And so I thought, well, you know, they were talking about how bright and blue it is. And I thought to myself, I want to try it. I wanted to try one box and somehow I ended up with two because like I said, I must have accidentally hit that button twice. So I ordered two Bay State Blues. And so what they were saying about this ink is that it stains. It's Although it's really bright, it's, it doesn't mix well with others and also it stains your pens. But, I don't know. I was very anxious to try it. I wanted to try it, but do I need two bottles of ink that are in Base 8 Blue? I hope I really love it because now I have two bottles of it. So that's my wish that I really love it. And look at, I like this box, how it has that little, the little cowboy boots and hat. So I think I might make stickers out of them with the, the tape. I really like the packaging. Like, look at, look at this. I like the artwork on the packaging. This, is that a catfish? I don't really know my fish. More fish here. And this side, I guess they were all. Oh look, it's a it's a guy riding a fish. Can you tell? And here's the fish again in the proper direction. And here's this one. I don't think it's the same guy riding it though, because this the one looks Native American. The other guy looks like he's a cowboy. Look at that. And on the top, here's a cowboy hat and boots. So, I don't know. I really hope I love this ink because... But then also it scares me because it says it stains everything. Although in the podcast, they did say that if you try hard enough, you can clean it off. Not podcast, pencast. Anyway... Here it is, Bay State Blue. I'm not gonna open both of them because it's the same exact thing. Bay State Blue. I'll leave that one, other one in the box. And I guess I will swatch it now. Get to the right page here. I should really tab these pages so I know, so I can get to them quickly. All right, so yeah, these are my inks. The Noodlers, all of these are Noodlers. This is Noodlers um, Ghost Blue, I think it's what it's called. You can't tell because it only, it's only visible under black light. So that's a cool one. Uh, some Sailors, and these are PH Martins that are not fountain pen inks. And these are some Sailors, some Jocker, Ben, Faber Castell, and the Mickey Black. Anyway, um, I do have a video of where I swatch all these. So if you're interested, you can watch that. And let me see. I'm scared because I don't want to get this all over the place. Especially, sorry, that was loud. I'm gonna lay this out so I can put my dirty cotton swab. But anyway, um, it's kind of scary because they, they say it stains so much. I don't want to get it all over the place. These things come so filled up. Okay. That is a pretty blue. There it is, and is noodlers. I really hate the way I write my ends. Is base state one word or two? It's one word. Base state blue. I think it's a pretty color. I didn't bring any water, so I can't clean that off right now. 
look at it. You can see how beautiful that is. It is a blue blue. It's a pretty blue. Hmm, how does it compare with my other ones? Not on the same page, but look at that. These are the two blues that I have. Uh, this is, okay, Bad Blue Heron, Liberty's Elysium, and Nav Noodler's Navajo Turquoise. Look at those three. And then look at that one. Whoa. And then look at that one. Oh, I think, oh no, I got it on the other side. Fail. You know, it's okay because this is the area where I usually put the white strip in. Not that I'm going to be getting that many more inks. I'm, I don't know. I think I have every color. But if I get to one that I just haven't had, that I just have to have, I guess I'll get another bottle of ink. I don't know. How many inks do I need? But I enjoy having my bottles of ink. Let's see. So I need that to dry. Okay, so while that's drying, I, uh, I've been making samples of all my inks. And I numbered them all because it would have taken me so long to create labels for each one. And apparently I have 27 bottles of ink. And I'm going to make samples. I'm going to put four mils in each. And I've got these little pipettes. So when I was doing them all, I thought I'm going to use a syringe to, you know, fill them up. I'll just clean them in between. But the problem with that was that when I cleaned the syringe, it ended up with water in there. And I didn't want to add water to the next sample or put it into my bottles of ink. So I ended up only swatching two and then waited till I got some pipettes. And that way I could just dispose of them afterwards. But I wonder if I can clean them off, like rinse them with some distilled water so I don't have to throw them away. I still have them all. I just finished, so they're still downstairs. It doesn't really matter to you where they're at, right? <laughs> but anyway, I thought that would be good if I could rinse them off, off and then I could reuse them, right? Because then they'll have time to dry in between as long as I use distilled water to clean them off. And there's a mess. All right, I gotta clean that mess real quick before it stains because I'm afraid of this base safe blue. Okay, so they're not lying when they say it's staining. Oh, this scared me. I thought this is a lid for my glass one. I thought, oh my goodness, the lid is off of my samples. But anyway, so I numbered them. Let's see, is this dry yet? I wonder if I can speed up the process a little bit. I think it's dry enough where I can turn the page. one of my sheets down here I can put in here okay so I made samples of all my inks let me see and here it is I instead of writing the name on each vial or sample whatever I think it is a vial I'm, I'd call it a vial I don't know if that's the actual name for it I don't remember what they're called I think they are vials anyway um, I wrote down the name of all my inks, and I have to add the Noodler's Base State Blue. Base State Blue, and then as I was, whoa, that's a lot. Okay, as I was um, filling up my vials with the tip of the pipette, 
I just do like a quick little smear so you can see all the ones I swatched. There's 27 inks total. And so I have them all like this and I just put the number on here. I just use the my, hundred, my 100 page. I put the number of the ink here and it corresponds to the number of what it is on my 100 page. So that's how I'm keeping track of it instead of writing all the names. So that's that. <laughs> And let's see, what am I going to do now? I think I do want to ink up this pen with the base state blue. Because why not? All right. Wish me luck. I don't make a mess here. Not deep enough. My goodness. I feel that because I know this is a staining ink, I'm being more careful and then it's actually translating to clumsier. I'm getting ink all over myself. I can just tell. Look at that. And I feel like I have to go wash my hands before I go any further. Does anybody else make a mess like this when you ink up your pen? Okay, I'm back. I rinsed off my glass dip pen. I washed my hands, although it may not look like it. This hand's okay. Look at this one. It even got on my nail polish. It doesn't want to come off. So I guess that's what I'm going to look like for, for a couple days. All right, so that was Base State Blue. And I inked up my Banu. Now let's see, is this dry enough for me to turn the page? Yes, it is. That's what it looks like right here. And where is my inked up pens page? Here it is. So today is, I have no idea what the date is. I don't ever know what the date is, guys. Oh, so it doesn't cap. It doesn't post, that's what I meant. Of course it caps. Today is the 28th. All right, so this is for 28. And you know, I don't know the name of the pen. I know it's a Banu, I don't know if it has a name. Okay, it's Milky Way. Oh, I like it. It's a Banu. I don't remember if they had nib sizes. Anyway, this is the Milky Way. I should look so I could tell you guys. It's because it seems like a pretty broad nib. And the ink is Noodler's. Base date. Blue. I messed up on my U right there. Anyway, it doesn't say, does it? It says, I wonder if that's broad, that B right there. I should look at it. I should look and see what I ordered. Does it say anything on here? I'm trying to see if it says anything on the nib. It's got a B, but I'm guessing that's probably for Banu, not because it's broad. Let me look at my order real quick. Let that dry just a bit. I really like this pen, it's pretty. 
Okay, yes, I ordered the broad and it comes in the extra fine, fine, medium, and then broad. And yes, I ordered the broad. And I think I wanted the broad so I could use shimmering inks with it because it's kind of a shim. I feel like this is the kind of pen that should have shimmering ink or I guess base tape blue. But okay, this is how it writes. So it's, it's a nice thick light. So I don't know what I prefer because I do really like the fines, but I also, and I also enjoy the extra fine. I guess it just depends on what I want to use it for. So this is the Bennu Broad, but look at it against the Eco 1.1 millimeter stub. Look at, can you see that one? Yes, this is the Eco, Twisby Eco 1.1 millimeter stub. And look, this one seems thicker the broad right I don't know it does and I do I do really like the color it's like a really deep bright blue so I don't know I like it I just I'm afraid of it because it's so staining but of course the ink that I am a little afraid of I get two bottles of right isn't that how things work for me but anyway I do really like my pen let me show it to you again. All by itself. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? It's very pretty. And I like that it's broad. And I like that I'll be able to use my shimmering inks in it. I think I will. I think this would probably... I don't know. I think I, I'm still looking for like the perfect ink. Am I in the middle? In the perfect ink that will... look like the night sky. Like kind of like this looks. I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to, can you tell what, if I angle it a little bit? It's like a deep, deep purple. Looks like the night sky, the, the galaxy. And then these splotches of silver glitter. Anyway, I do really like it. I think it's a beautiful pen. So I bought this. It came with the converter, twist converter, a really skinny cartridge. And here's the box. And I think I'm just going to keep this cartridge in the box if I can open it. I don't know why I had a hard time opening that, but I'm just going to keep this right here. I have a new pen. Here it is. And... Base state blue. Would it be awful if I did this and it wasn't closed all the way and it just got all over the place? So, yep, that's my Goulet Pens haul. And here are my ink samples. It doesn't look like it's staining the, the thing. Look, it's unless it hasn't touched it right there. It's still clear right there. My little ink vials, samples of base state blue. And that is my haul my mini goulet pens haul um give this video a like if you enjoy any part of this video please i would appreciate it and consider subscribing bye everybody